Hello again and welcome to another tech tip video from Learn Electrics. Several years ago, a Saturday morning, I was about to drive to my parents' home in Anglesey when a customer telephoned. He had a problem with the machine tripping out and needed it working as soon as possible. The factory was actually on my route to Wales, perhaps a two mile detour. I put my tool bag and meters in the back of the car and set off. An hour after arriving at the factory, I had repaired the fault and tested the circuit. Whilst completing the test certificate, I realised that I had left my on-site guide in the van back in Shropshire. I was pretty certain that the earth loop impedance or ZS was satisfactory, but then mm, this was a circuit breaker size that I didn't normally use. What to do? Well, it was then that I realised that if I knew the measured ZS value for a couple of popular sizes, there might be something common between them that would help. Could I work out a quick and easy formula to solve the puzzle? It turned out that there was a magic formula. I am certain that I'm not the first to discover this number, but it was new to me and a revelation. My understanding of the ZS tables improved many times over just as soon as I realised there was a magic relationship. Now, some years later, with the advent of the 18th edition of the wiring regulations, this number has changed to a new magic number and the number 35 is the number that we will talk about today. If you should ever be on site without your books, then remembering this little trick will be extremely helpful to you. What is it we are testing? We are testing the earth loop impedance. We need to know that the actual measured ZS value does not exceed the maximum value given in the on-site guide. What is ZS or earth fault loop impedance? It is a measurement of the whole resistance path that the fault current will take during a significant fault on that circuit. If the ZS reading is below the quoted maximums, then we can be confident that the circuit will disconnect safely within the time required. For most final circuits, this is 0 0.4 seconds. To use this easy formula, we need to know just four things. The number 35 the size or rating of the circuit breaker. This is often referred to as IN, which is the nominal current rating of the device and will usually be printed on the breaker. We also need to know the type code of the breaker. It is a B, C or D type and this will also be printed on the device. And the disconnection time for the circuit. This information will need to come from you as you should have knowledge of what type of circuit you're working on. That is to say, is it a final circuit or a distribution circuit? Is it a TN system or a TT system? We have based this video on the more common TN final circuits. What we will look at today will work with all BSEN 60898 circuit breakers and all BSEN61009 RCBOs. To start with, we will discuss Type B breakers. Then we will move on to Type C and Type D circuit breakers, and they all follow a similar pattern. So, let's begin with the Type B breakers. First, we need the number 35. Then we divide the 35 by the size or rating of the circuit breaker and this will give us the maximum measured ZS value. At the top left of this slide I have repeated this information. We have a 0 0.4 second disconnection time. It is a type B breaker and so the calculation is as shown. 35 divided by IN where IN is the size or rating of the breaker. 
In this example, we will use a 6 amp type B circuit breaker. 35 divided by 6 will give us 5.83 ohms. You will need a calculator for this and do not be afraid to write down your calculations. If you get a wrong number, you can quickly trace your mistake. Look at the table B6 in the blue on-site guide. In my book, it is on page 131. The on-site guide gives a maximum ZS value of 5.87 ohms. And I think you will agree that we are pretty much there with the value that we have just calculated. Nobody's going to fuss over four one hundredths of an ohm. Now we can try the formula for a 10 amp circuit breaker. Type B again and still a 0 0.4 second disconnection time. 35 divided by the 10 amp rating gives us a maximum measured ZS of 3.5 ohms. If our actual circuit measurement is less than 3.5 ohms, then we have a good circuit as far as ZS is concerned. And look at the figures given on page 131 of the on-site guide. For a type B 10 amp breaker, 3.5 ohms. And that is exactly the number that we have. And finally, for type B breakers, let us try the ever popular 32 amp device. So, 35 divided by 32 gives us 1.09 ohms. The book gives us 1.1 ohms. This is close enough. And in fact, some test sheets do actually quote 1.09 ohms. Most times, your circuit ZS will not be anywhere near these maximum figures, so you will not have to worry about any small differences. Let us look now at the Type C circuit breakers. Because they are less sensitive to starting surges, they need to compensate for this by having a lower ZS to give them greater fault current. This is to ensure that the device will still operate within the required disconnection time, which we are going to keep at 0 0.4 seconds for this next example. We need to make a small alteration to the formula. We still use the number 35, but now we must divide it by twice the size of the breaker. Whatever the rating is on the front, then just double it. Remember that the size of the breaker uses the symbol IN, so for a type C it is 2 times IN. We will stay with the 10 amp breaker, which is now a type C. For the formula, we will double the 10 amp rating and this will give us 20. Our formula then is 35 divided by 20. Pop this into a calculator and we have 1.75 ohms. Table B6 on page 131 of the on-site guide tells us the maximum ZS should not exceed 1.75 ohms. Again, it is spot on. And as your confidence grows, you will trust your calculations when you are on site without a book. Now, we're going to make a slight deviation from the 0 0.4 second disconnections. Type D circuit breakers are often used in distribution circuits in industrial settings. Here, they are protecting a feed from a distribution board to another board or a consumer unit further down the line. The disconnection time now is 5 seconds. So, for a Type D breaker and a 5 second disconnection time, we divide 35 by twice the size of breaker, just as we did for the Type C in the last example. This gives us a calculation of 35 divided by 20, and the result is 1.75 ohms. And you can see the comparison at the top of this slide. OK, back to 0 0.4 seconds disconnection times and type D breakers. Now we must divide the number 35 by four times the breaker rating because the type D is even less sensitive. Shown at the top left is the calculation using symbols. 
35 divided by 4 times i n. If we stay with the 10 amp circuit breaker, 4 times 10 is 40. Our calculation then is 35 divided by 40 and this will give us 0 0.87 ohms. Compare this to the book which is 0 0.87 and again we are spot on. That is how simple this formula is. If you are ever on site without your books and you can remember the number 35 then you can save the day. So a quick recap on this page. For a 0 0.4 second disconnection time and a type B breaker use the formula 35 divided by I n. And for 0 0.4 seconds and a type C it is 35 divided by 2 times I n. Then we saw a type D breaker with a 5 second disconnection time and again it was 35 divided by 2 times I n. And finally for a type D with a 0 0.4 second disconnection time we used 35 divided by 4 times I n. Practice, practice, practice. Once you have learnt it you will have another powerful tool in your mental toolbox. We hope you have learnt something from this video. Please look at our other videos which are being added to on a regular basis. If you click the subscribe button you will be kept up to date with all the new electrical videos. Also visit our website learnelectrics.co.uk where you will find a readable version of this video along with useful tech tips and a selection of exam papers for the electrical exams including the wiring regulations to BS 7671. If you are a householder there is also a section on our website for you where we include tips and advice about electricity and your home. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you again very soon.